Mary Cassatt was an American painter who spent most of her life in France. She was part of a group of artists in Paris known as Impressionists. They used dabs of color to paint pictures of everyday life. Cassatt's most familiar paintings focus on mothers and their small children. In many of her paintings, the subjects wear hats because those were popular to wear when she was alive. Let's make our own. For this project, you'll need a colored piece of paper. I have black here because I think it's a nice background color, as well as scissors and glue. In addition, I also have this white piece of paper and markers and colored pencils or crayons, whatever you have to create your pattern. I'm going to make a plaid pattern, which means I'm going to be making a series of lines that go down my paper, both vertically and horizontally. I'm gonna pick a few colors and focus on those colors. So I'm gonna use a lot of purples, pinks, and blues. You can use whatever colors you'd like. You can also do a completely different pattern if you'd like, or you can follow along and create a similar plaid pattern like me. I'm going to keep on working, keep on filling up my paper with lots of designs and lots of color. You should do the same. Okay, here's my finished pattern. Now I'm gonna flip my paper over and I'm gonna draw the outline of my hat. I'm gonna make it nice and big, starting with the top. And now 
side by on along the side. I'm going to go around and make a big half oval that stops when I hit that first curved line. The other option is you can make the top of your hat just like before, but this time the brim of your hat, if you want to make it really like loose and flowing, you can make a curved line, however you'd like to do it. I'm going to stick with the first one because that's where my pattern paper is. So once you've made your design for your hat, made it nice and big on the back of your pa printed paper, you're going to start cutting out your hat. I'm only cutting the outline of my hat and I'm making it as big as I can to get most of the pattern on my paper. Once I finish cutting and flip it over, I have my patterned hat. Now I'm going to take my colored paper, I have black, and glue my hat to the paper. So I'm going around the edges with my glue stick. Remember, you don't need to glue in the middle. And now line it up, fit it. I'm making mine a little slanted. That's fine, however you do it. The next step is to add some definition to your hat. So I'm gonna use crayons. You can use whatever coloring utensil you have. I'm gonna start by drawing a curved line in the middle of my hat. This is gonna be the band that separates the top part of my hat with the brim. The brim is the part that shades your eyes and the top part is what goes on your head to keep it in place. I'm going to fill out that curved line. Now I'm going to add just a little bit more definition with my crayons. I'm going to go around the brim of my hat. And then I'll also go around the top. These are optional and you can add whatever designs you'd like to your hat. I'm also going to add some details along the side of my hat. So now I'm going directly onto my background paper. However you want to finish decorating your hat is up to you. There you have it. I hope you enjoy your Mary Cassatt inspired hat.